Team-based racing seems to be quite the fad at the moment, with the likes of Ubisoft's The Crew and Sony's Drive Club taking a stab at it. But Slightly Mad Studios is doing things a little differently with its upcoming team-based racer World of Speed. Described as a racing MMO by the studio, not only is it trying to create an online experience to rival the likes of shooters and MMOs, but it's also giving it away for free. That's right, when World of Speed hits PC later this year, it'll be entirely free to download. Naturally, there'll be microtransactions involved that let you buy upgrades for your car and potentially speed up your progress through the game, but Slightly Mad Studios is adamant that they've got the balance right, and players that don't purchase anything won't feel hard done by. All the content will be accessible to all players, regardless of whether they purchase anything. As for the MMO part of World of Speed, don't get your hopes up for an open world epic. This is a street and circuit based racer, albeit one that has a focus on team based events and competition. The idea is that players will be able to create and join clubs with others, and that for every event they take part in, points are awarded to their club. World of Speed is throwing all sorts of incentives into the mix to keep players from trying to go it alone. For one, a podium finish isn't the only way to earn experience points. Performing tricks and drifts during a race will rack up the XP, as will performing defensive blocks on the opposition in order to secure safe passage for a teammate. It'll be interesting to see just how many players will be willing to take a back seat though. Indeed, the laps I took around the visually impressive circuits weren't quite the chummy drives I'd envisaged, with each member of the team tending to just go for a podium place with little regard for their team member's progress. This was a simple circuit race event though, and while little was revealed of other race types, I did catch a tantalising glimpse of Destruction Derby during a presentation slide. Perhaps those other modes will encourage better teamwork. As for the racing itself, World of Speed leans very much towards the arcade. It was little trouble to sling a car around a hairpin bend at speed, or indulge in some wildly ambitious drifts without careering headfirst into a wall, while a nitro boost proved useful for some mean-spirited ramming. I'd love to say that it was all tremendous fun, but the racing felt more serviceable than it did stimulating. Hopefully the final game will feature more in the way of clear, interesting objectives than the early demo did. Still, when World of Racing does launch, players can expect plenty of improvements post-release. That other aspect of free-to-play games, the constant stream of updates and fixes, is how the studio envisages the game evolving in the future. It's a big promise, attached to a similarly big free-to-play gamble. Ultimately, World of Speed is a game that's attempting what so many others have tried and failed to do to make a racing game with the long life and community of a top shooter or MMO. That's a mighty big task, and one that's going to need more than just some shiny cars and striking tracks. The Slightly Mad Studios team has definitely got the right idea, let's just hope there's more substance to its grand ambitions when we see it in action before its release later this year.